All right, guys, now we're going to go into um, what I call a knee pinch triangle setup from K Control. And this is one of my favorites to set up because not only is the triangle really quick and effective, if I stumble and he starts to counter me, I can counter flow into other triangle setups and kind of keep feeding that game from K Control. All right? Ideally, when I go to set up K Control, uh, I want to have this arm tied up with it. You're going to see what I mean. Okay, so usually with K control, you're going to it when you're losing grips as well. Like if he's hand fighting me and I can't tie him up, you know, you know the one thing I want to, I, that's not fighting or not moving is his head. So if I can get to his head, even though he might have my bicep here, if I can still get his head, I'm still in the game. Okay, if I, and the other thing that doesn't move much is his leg. So I grab his leg. So a lot of times this is how it works. I get to the head and leg, and then now speed and everything is gonna put together nicely. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna place my foot on his hip just to get my hips out. And one of the things to do with this position is to start to kind of lift. I'm kind of lifting. It's almost like you went on a half grip, so you're just lifting my arms. And part of that reason is just kind of gets my hips further away. It gives me a better angle and it allows me to get a little under, deeper underneath them. Okay, so when I get to this position, as I'm bringing myself in, I'm lifting. You see how I'm just lifting. And what I'm going to do is this knee is going to come out. And I'm going to drop my knee down on his bicep. Okay, it's just going to roll over the top. So even if he's got kind of my armpit, it's going to go up and pinch. And when you do that, you got to make sure you have some control, okay? You have some control of this body. So you're going to end up like this, okay? Now, I'm going to drive my knee down into the sternum. Not my entire leg, just my knee. I don't want to push like this because he'll slip his arm back in. That's bad news, okay? I want to drive the point of my knee so it's a lot harder for him to drive back in, okay? I'm here in this position. I'm gonna push his knee just enough away where I feel like I've cleared the arm. Now from here, I'm gonna curl with my right leg and I'm gonna pull him down as I elevate my hips. And I'm gonna cross, okay? And when you cross here, the leg that goes over the shoulder should be at the bottom of the cross. Because if I'm crossed this way, he actually feels less pressure for the control of, the, of, the, uh, of his neck and his shoulder. All right, so here, much better. Okay, once I'm in this position, I need to clear this arm to the other side. So I'll come here and I'll pop my hips and I'll drag, just probably like you've done in any basic triangle setup. Now, from here, I start to let go and I'm gonna bring my knees down towards me. I'm gonna try to knead my own chest and grab. Okay. Once I have control of his upper body, whether it's head or the shin, this can now open up. Place it on his hip and pull it high in position. Once it's here, I lock, pinch, you can pull the head, hug the knees, or do a little bit of both until you get the tap. I'm playing, I get head, I get leg. Okay. Now I plant my foot on the hip and I start to kind of push him off as I pull myself in. There I am, making a little bit of an angle. My knee is going to come now over the top of his arm and trap it to his body. Curling against his body, driving my knee into his sternum. And now I'm going to push. I'm going to push his arm away and I'm going to climb up his back by curling my right leg and popping my hips. So from here, pop up and I squeeze him tight. Now, I work on clearing the arm and bring him down. Grab, shift, bring it in position, pinch, and squeeze. 